basically the the question is what do we do with these patients that have um, non-epileptic seizures that are attributed to psychogenic cause? And um, we're trying to figure out how do we best treat those people? There is a movement to, to give these patients something because we don't really have great tools to help them. Our, we know that our anti-seizure medications don't work. So uh, psychotherapy might be the right answer for them. The question that we're arguing about in this conference is, is psychotherapy the right choice and will it? Uh, do we have a good evidence to support doing it? So what I try to review is, first of all, do we want to do that at all? And, and, and what do we want to do? And then if so, like what is the evidence that's, that suggests that's the right move? And um, of, of course, my job is to argue, no, we should not do it. Um, necessarily, uh, because the evidence is not strong, but um, there's lot there's not strong evidence for many things that doctors do. And if we are stuck with either doing nothing or doing something that has not great evidence but some suggestion of evidence, uh, many doctors will choose to do to do the thing that has the most chance of being helpful and the least chance of being hurtful. So I'm not telling people don't do it. I'm telling people we don't have strong evidence.